Hi! In this video I will show you how to use table diffusion in touch design locally on your computer. We will use the automatic 1111 distributive API. This will help reduce the time we spend on installing the libraries and trying to run everything locally. And we will be able to async generate images. So touch designer won't hang for a few seconds to generate the image. All links and comments are in the description of this video. Let's start. Go to GitHub and download the Automatic 11 distributive. Next, get the TD Diffusion API distributive. Download Python version 3.10.6. Install with the Add Python to Pass option turned on. Download Git. And install it with default parameters. Open the command line. Copy the command to install pip. Now we can install the required libraries. Copy the command line to install the pill and request library. Now we can install stable diffusion. Open the folder with the downloaded automatic 1111 package. Find the file web user bot. Open it with notepad and add API argument. Save the file and run it. The installation process can take a long time. During this time we can download the Stable Diffusion model. Go to the Hugging Face website and download the model. Copy it to the model Stable Diffusion folder. After installation is complete, we will see a link to the local site with a user-friendly interface. We can generate an image to check that everything is set correctly. Let's move on to generating images from Touch Designer. First we need to run the script web user bot, if it's not already running. Start the Touch Designer project. In the settings tab you need to specify the path to the installed Python. In the text to image tab we see the parameters for generating images from a text request. These parameters duplicate the parameters of stable diffusion. So I suggest to see a detailed tutorial about their purpose. But there is an easier way, with Lexica API. Lexica is a site with samples of prompt and parameters for generation of. We have already have integrated pipeline for working with Lexica into the component and now we'll look at it. Let's type into a prompt. Select the number of variations to search for and press search. In status line we see the connection was successful and process of downloading images. In Lexica container, you can choose a style and apply it to the generation. But first, in the settings tab, it's necessary to choose which parameter will be applied. Let's select all parameters. When you select a style, the parameters will be after copied. Let's generate the image in the select style. Press generate. Generated images will be located in the SD image folder of the project folder. The component also has a chop out. Image ready is a trigger, which is activated when the image is ready. In the about tab you'll find information about the component, as well as link to GitHub and Discord. If you enjoy video, so don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like this video. Thank you for watching.